Hey guys, just a quick silly one for you. We drove past this 24-hour McDonald's, as we often do, and it was closed, which is the first time we've ever seen it closed, so we're very curious about that. So I thought we'd better have a look to see what was going on, see if there was a story in it for you. So we're now look, and there's a sign on the door, but it doesn't say much. It says that the store will be closed from the 10th for some time, and no specific reason is given, sort of vague explanation with no real reason is given. Now usually when we see stores renovated here, if they close them, they start renovating them the day they close, don't they? So they don't want to waste any revenue. So that was going to be our story. We'll keep an eye on that and find out what happened there. But what developed was, it was quite obvious from the street the place was closed, but the, the people kept squeezing in between the witches' hats in their cars and just couldn't get their heads around the fact that it was closed. The guy's over there looking at his phone trying to find out what's going on. This car here is pushed past the cones to get to the drive through. <laughs> right? Sat there at the drive through, you know, Sumasan, Sumasan, no answer, Sumasan, Sumasan. <laughs> oh, oh, they're not answering me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So. <laughs> painfully obvious from the street the place is closed so it, it just got funnier and funnier we we're watching them watching them come in and they just couldn't get their heads around it you know occasionally a car would come and they'd, they'd you'd see them at the entrance and they'd look oh it's closed and they'd drive away but so many of them did this they pushed past the witches caps and then came in and just sort of didn't know what to do that guy got in the car he got out his phone and he's looking at his phone he's obviously trying to find out why his mac is closed <laughs> finally he moved on but it was really funny because we've said before that, you know, situations like this, something unexpected, when something unexpected happens in Japan, they really need a guard demand. They really need a 67-year-old guy standing at the entrance there doing the cross-arm thing. So we've showed you that cross-arm thing before, body language, that, that says it's closed. And that's really what they need. They need the guard demand standing there going the cross-arm thing, telling people to keep going. But because there's no guard on, they don't know what to do. See, this guy too. Boom. Bit of bad driving. And he, he's just, oh, uh, 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 what, what's happening? What's, oh, but I need a hamburger. Um, what? <laughs> what's, 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 oh, it's closed. Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> hey, we're not going to show you all of them. We're there, we're there for about 15 minutes. And we, not, we cut this video right down because we had lots and lots of footage. We're just trying to show you the highlights. Uh, oh, oh, it's closed. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, no. <laughs> this is a funny one. She, she came in on the scooter. And she parked a scooter. It's going to get busy in a minute, so I'll tell you her story. She came in and parked the scooter, and then she went to the first door, the one that we showed you with the picture, with the, draw, the, uh, the paper on it saying that it's closed. And she went and looked at that door, and then you'll see her walk around. It's going to get really busy now with cars, but she walks around to the other door on this side of the building to read the, to see what's if it's what's written on that door, as if it might be different, as if this half might be open. <laughs> but watch them; they come in and they sort of freeze, and a lot of them go for their phones. That one over the back there is trying to get to the drive-through, and ah. Uh, and there's a witch's cat blocking the drive through The first car squeezed past it. They're squeezing through the <laughs> entrance to get in. But watch, it gets funnier and funnier because they just keep coming. This is about mm, just before midday. And they just don't know what to do. And then they start, uh, what, what should we do? <laughs> keep your eye on the big white car at the back and the black one behind it. They're both confused. What, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, what, what are we... What are, is it, uh, no, is, you know, see, they need a guard man. They need about four guard man. Right? They need one at the other entrance and this entrance and then two more just to back up in, in case of confusion and panic. So now that, that driver of that big white car's decided, oh, well, we better have a look. So the, the, the lady comes over to have a look at this door over this side to see if it says something different from the other door. <laughs> Which we didn't even think of doing that. We took the video of the first door and assumed the second door was going to say the same thing. Print out from the same computer, you would think. And then the whole family gets out, right? Because <laughs> we, we want our hamburgers. But the young Yoshi 
young Yoshi there wants his hamburger and, and what are we going to do so then dad gets an umbrella like they're going to be standing there for a while thinking about it that's the scooter owner there look there's, uh, what, are we, what are we going to do what are we going to do hmm <laughs> dad's still standing there with his umbrella uh, what are, oh no there's the scooter owner she's back she's been to check the other door found it said the same thing Hopefully at least one other person finds this entertaining because in real life it was a, it was hysterical. It was really funny. It was Keystone Cops. The music from Benny Hill. Dun, 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 So when it actually cleared for a minute, all the cars were gone and the staff member came out. He'd always been waiting for the customers to be gone, came out and moved the witch's cats to make it harder to get through, and then scurried back inside again. He obviously didn't want to be talking. Obviously, he's a mouth breather too, so he's got his mask down off his nose. He's a mouth breather. But obviously, he didn't want to be talking to the customers and ex- trying to explain anything, so he's scurried back in. We will find out why. Oh, this guy got stuck on the footpath in his confusion. But we'll find out for you guys. We're going to keep an eye on it because we, we suspect there's no COVID in this town. That, that has been reported but we're a bit suspicious that there's no explanation and there's no renovation so we're suspicious it might be COVID or they might be thinking it might be COVID and they might be waiting for PCR tests or something which usually take about 24 hours in Japan so I'll keep an eye on it and see what happens and let you know if it's anything interesting in the meantime there's that more videos coming soon